Hi everyone, this is Miles from Quadcopter Land, and today is a slightly exciting day, but not quite as exciting as the first time. I'm not going to be unboxing the Phantom 4 Pro for the first time. This is actually the replacement for the first one. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you watch one of my videos, if you go back and look at some of my other videos, you will know why, I, why I'm here. Uh, my first Phantom 4 Pro camera failed after about three days of operation. And I've had tremendous feedback. I've had a lot of people ask questions. I've had people actually who have problems with and other issues with the Phantom 4 Pro that I'm also going to address, which includes firmware updates, uh, the uh, remote not binding with the bird, a whole host of things. So today I'm going to cover as much as I can. I'm going to try to keep it short because I've got a lot of people that's asking me about the reliability of this bird. So I'm going to have to put it through a whole bunch more tests. And today I'm going to show how to do the firmware update, but I'm going to do it in a way where I'm going to add photographs. I'm going to have the sound in there. I'm going to have it where you guys can see it step by step. And that way I don't miss a step. You can see exactly how it's done for you folks out there that are having a problem with the firmware update. Hopefully I can help you with this. I bought this Phantom 4 for you guys. I've already sent the other one back. I got so many drones laying around here. I, I got the Inspire one. I've got so many drones I can fly. And, you know, but I'm doing this for you guys. I'm trying to get you guys the most information so you guys can take this out and you can fly and enjoy how it's meant to be flown. So stick around. I'm gonna go ahead and get this show on the road and that's rock and roll. Okay guys, I got everything set up. We're ready to get this presentation on the road. I've got my battery on the Phantom Ford charge. I got my battery on the remote control charge and I've got my phone charged to 100%. I've got my USB cables ready. I've already got it plugged into the remote. The first thing we want to do is see if these two bind together. Then after that, I'm going to show you exactly what the screen looks like when you start the bird up and if it pulls up any indication that it needs a firmware update. Hopefully it runs smoother than the last time. So I'm going to go, you, go ahead and show you guys how to do all these calibrations, how to do all these updates. So stick around for all you guys that are having problems. Um, hopefully what I'm about to show you is going to help you guys out. So let's go ahead and get it started. So the first things first, let's make sure that before we power on the Phantom 4, that we take off this gimbal protector and also this foam in the back. So let's go ahead and take that off first. Oh, it looks like the foam already fell off by itself. So let's go ahead and move that out the way. Reason why you're going to take that off is so when you start up this bird, you don't damage the gimbal motors because the camera is going to move around when you turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn on Phantom. And as you can see, on the top of the screen up here, the battery is already fully charged before I start it. Same thing with the remote. Battery started. Looks like it's fully charged. And you hear that beep, it's ready to go. Now let me go ahead and show you on the screen what it looks like. Okay, as you can hear in the background, you can hear the Phantom 4 Pro running. Right now I currently have the USB connected to the remote. So go ahead and hit the DJI Go app, the 4 app. The screen should look just like this. Okay. We're waiting for it to boot. And it says go fly. Now all of a sudden, the update screen is going to pop up. Right now it hasn't popped up yet, but there it is. You're going to hit this go fly right here. And then it's just show firmware update required on the upper left hand side right here. So you're going to go ahead and click that. Sorry about that. And let's hit this OK first with beginner, then hit that. It says updates required. Now there's going to be a side arrow here. I'm going to hit that side arrow. It's going to say download firmware. So we're going to hit download firmware. Now you're going to hear this beeping sound. Once I start the upgrade, you will see right here it says start the upgrade. Now this is going to start the upgrade on the remote first. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So we're going to go ahead and start the upgrade. Right now it's saying upgrading. Right now it's at 0% and you can hear it beeping now. And you should see the blue LED on the left hand side with the white LEDs blinking. That's what it should look like. Now, 
as you see here, the update's almost complete. Now the update is complete. Now we have to do the aircraft. So before you do anything else, I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, as you guys can see, the bird is still running. The remote is still on, and we're still on that same update screen. The next part you need to do is unplug your USB cable from the back of the remote, plug it into this adapter that was provided in the box. Then you're going to plug it in to the side of the Phantom 4. Right there on the side. You hear that beep? It just popped up. Now I'm going to show you what the screen looks like now. Okay, this is what the screen should look like when you plug it into the bird. Now there's a plus sign right up here. You're going to hold that plus sign down. And you should see a firmware update. As you can see, this is what the screen should look like. And it's 01.01.0203. And this is, is right in this box right here. So we go ahead and start the upgrade because that is the correct firmware update. So hit start. And as you can see right here, it's starting the update right here. Now as you can see on the side where it's plugged in, you can see that it is doing, currently doing the update. I cannot stress enough how you do want to start an update with 100% charge battery, 100% charge remote, and make sure your phone is 100% charged. I also turned my phone data off and I turned everything else off on my phone as far as connection wise so nobody would make a phone call to me while I'm doing an update. So I won't get any type of interruptions. But as you can see, the light is blinking red and green. Do not interrupt the update at any time. If you think it's done, still don't touch it. Make sure it is verified on your screen, which I'm going to show you in a minute, that it is fully updated. As you can see, the camera is starting to move because it's getting reflashed right now. The whole CPU on the bird is getting reflashed. Another thing I want to mention to you guys during this update, leave the remote control on during the whole update. Only shut down the remote when it prompts you to shut down the remote. Okay, the firmware is at 99%. We are almost there. I know this is tedious. The bird just shut off and turned back on. It's saying it's 99% complete. As you can hear, it just popped right back up. Let's just wait, have some patience. Okay guys, it's right now it's complete, but let me tell you what just happened. It was stuck at 99%. If any of you guys get stuck at 99%, shut down the remote, not the aircraft. Don't unplug any cords. Turn off the remote. Turn it back on, wait about five seconds, and it'll say complete. All right, here we go. Let's shut her down first. Hold the button down again. She's off. Let's go ahead and unplug this. I shut down the remote. This. Let's start her up and see what we got. Hold the button down, hold it again. Hold the button on the back of the bird. And hold it again. All right, let's look at the RC. It should pop up in a minute. It says RC connected, enter device. We'll go ahead and uh, turn the phone sideways. All right, it says we have no signal. Show you guys how we fix that. To fix the no Power signal, has been updated. all I did Please was shut down the remote the and turn it right back on. It looks like we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and test a couple things. Let's go ahead and uh, move the gimbal up and down. Looks like it's working just fine. No problems there. One thing we definitely need to check is to make sure that the firmware updated. And it says right there, latest firmware update. So we're good to go. I'm 
Now, looks like the update went just great. The only hiccup I had is that 99%. I had to shut the remote down and then turn it back on. And I was able to uh, finish the update. And then when the actual screen showed no signal, I was able to, once again, shut down the remote and fix that by turning it back on. It's running pretty smooth now as far as the update. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like when I do the IMU. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start this IMU calibration. Make sure when you're doing an IMU calibration that you do not have on any metal watches or have any keys in your pocket, have anything that's metal away from the aircraft. So let's go ahead and start this IMU calibration. We're gonna go where it says ready GPS, click on that. Where it says compass and IMU, click on details on compass. And then right here it says IMU calibration. So we go ahead and click on that. And then we go ahead and start the calibration. First we're going to turn the aircraft, have the aircraft uh, straight. Now we're going to turn it back. We're going to wait. Now we're going to turn it to the other side. And the light's going to flash every time it's time to turn it. So now it's on this uh, left side. We we'll put the aircraft forward. The lights is blinking fast. The green LEDs. Every time it's done on one spot, it'll flash the LEDs bright green, and then you flip it. Now we're gonna go back. We're almost there. All right. Now let's put it upside down. I know you can hear that noise. Almost there. All right, we are all done with the calibration. Let's hit back the camera. Hit this X right here. Now, last but least, what we're gonna do now is how to link the remote. How you do that is you're gonna go here to the settings. You're gonna go to the RC, and you're gonna scroll up, and you should see RC linking right here at the bottom. Click on that. Confirm frequency settings, hit yes. And you hear that beep? Now click on the button on the side of the aircraft where it was doing the update, where the red and green light was blinking. Press that in. Until it starts flashing red. Now the aircraft is linked. You're all done. Looks like the IMU calibration and also the RC link went very well. I am very happy with this bird. Uh, I'm smiling probably a little bit because it went a little bit smoother than the last one did. And I'm really happy that it's working out because I would love to show you guys some more reviews. I want to do the reviews on the camera. I want to do the reviews on how to navigate the actual app while you're flying it and to show you some of the functionality of this bird while it's flying. So I hope you guys really enjoyed what I showed you guys today. If I forgot anything, please leave some comments below and uh, I'll go ahead and sh shoot another video for you guys. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys get to get your birds in the air as well and fix your problems like I had. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe below and give me a thumbs up. Have a good night.